Thing. Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! Let's start by talking about last night's by-election. Uh, Chris has been in the office since the crack of dawn and he loves nothing better than a by-election. What happened? Well, I, as um, tremors go, political tremors go, it, it, it's, you know, it's not even rivalling the, the real thing in Lincolnshire the other night where you know, someone spilled a cup of tea after a tiny little uh, movement of the earth, if we're honest. What happened? Uh, Labour held the seats. They did hold it prior to the by-election with a colossal majority. That majority is considerably smaller, both in terms of numbers, but also in terms of uh, share of the vote. Uh, Brexit uh, in Lewisham in South London was a really big issue. Mm. The Liberal Democrats in particular absolutely hammered it. Yes, and they, they were well. sort of full-throated in their uh, opposition to Brexit, whereas Labour have had to be a bit more caveated. Now, Janet Davey, their winning candidate, the new MP, is more pro-European, arguably, than the Labour leadership. She's talked about the desire to stay in the single market and the uh, customs union, but as a bigger party with seats all over the country, some heavily remain, some heavily leave, they are that bit more caveated. The Lib Dems went for the sort of full-throated anti-Brexit thing and did very well. They didn't keep their deposit at last year's general election. They got north of 20% of the vote. But they did push the Conservatives into uh, third place. You mentioned yeah. Janet Davey be being very pro-Remain, perhaps more so than the party's official line. Let's uh, have a listen to her. I've campaigned for so that we do not have an extreme Brexit and I've always said that um, I've wanted us to remain as close as to the um, single market and to the customs union as possible. Uh, the Labour, our Labour Party's view on this is that we would have a new customs union that would have the same, um, the same access to what we pre presently have at the moment. Well, that's uh, Janet Davey, the new MP. Well, let's stick with Labour, um, because all is not well in terms of relations at the top of the Labour Party, it seems. In a rather revealing interview with Nick Robinson, the deputy leader, Tom Watson, said Len McCluskey, the boss of the Unite Union, is out to get him. Let's have a listen to what he had to say. I'm not going to be bullied by Len McCluskey. Uh, I certainly wasn't going to be bullied by Rupert Murdoch, so I'm definitely not going to be bullied by Len McCluskey. And I think he took that very difficult. He found that very difficult. Does he feel the same sometimes? Uh, the murder press were coming for you. Len McCluskey's not I saying the old bad thing. He's coming for you, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, he's coming for me. You know, they're, you know, they, um, you know, they're up in their delegates and all of that. No, I mean, look, it's, I guess, losing eighty six pounds. What will be, will be. I mean, he is powerful enough. If he wants to take me out as deputy leader, he probably could. But that's up to him. I'm just going to get on and try and bring everyone back together. And Len McCluskey's out to get Tom Watson. What did you make of it all? It sounded a bit like that line from Carry On Cleo. Infamy, infamy. They've all got an infamy. <laughs> you had to remind me for a moment um, what that line was, yes. There's a serious issue going on here. Um, I don't think Len McCluskey is trying to get rid of, of Tom Watson. Really? And as a sort of Labour supporting journalist, I think that the real fault line inside Labour at the moment is the one you, that, that Brexit has created, the one with where you see you know, sort of the Blairite right wing of the, of the Labour Party really kind of pushing, pushing it with the rest of us. But I think, you know... As, a, as an alliance, you know, Labour makes sense as an alliance between people like me, people like Tom Watson. In actual fact, and, you know, Len McCluskey, we get on quite well. There's an interesting line well, they obviously, well, they obviously don't get on well, very well. I mean, that well, alliance they, is they, clearly they falling together. apart. They, they, they did live together. together. At point. Um, you know, in a, in a shared flat. Someone yeah. left some dirty cups in the sink well, at some point. Is this what it's about? <laughs> well, I, you know, there was an interesting line in there when he, when he said, Unite are upping their delegates. Now, I, 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 if I was Nick Robinson, I'd asked, what to? To Tom, is it to Tom Watson's constituency Labour Party? Well, that would be interesting. But I think what he's talking about is Unite are really trying to play a much more sort of proactive Look, role McCluskey in Labour McCluskey backs politics. Jeremy Corbyn. John Watson is an in, his independent own man. He doesn't, Jeremy Corbyn doesn't want him there. He's, he's played a, a role as a sort of attempting to sort of bridge between the, the right-wing Blairites, you say, uh, the, uh, the majority of Labour voters, I would argue, and momentum and Jeremy Corbyn. But at the end of the day, Jeremy Corbyn's supporters, including Lemon McCluskey, no, they don't need well, him anymore. Oh, they've got oh, the party, they've seized control, and everyone knows that Tom's days are numbered. I honestly think that that's a, a too, it's a lack of new there because because 
Tom Watson actually kind of changed his position after Labour's uh, good showing in the June 2017 uh, election. He committed, you know, I think much more clearly to the idea of Jeremy staying, to the idea... Well, no, I he think gave it, up on getting rid of him. Well, I, you know, I think technically he was neutral in that actual battle. Technically he was, uh, but I, didn't, I don't think anyone actually he was thought pretty, he was. He was, yeah. he was pretty uh, against. But, but, but the election changed things. And I think that, you know, those of us who are kind of engaged with Labour politics do not see a huge fault line between, at, right now between Corbyn, Corbynism and, and the kind of Labour first politics that Tom Watson represents. As I say, it is the, it is the ultra FBP ears, it's the Remainers who are really stirring up the, the splits in Labour. But is it about Brexit or is it much more, as Julia said, um, about the sort of the, the, the fight finally uh, being laid to rest between these two, the big guns of, of, of Labour, Tom Watson and Len McClough? It is extraordinary, isn't it, just to reflect, as Julia was mentioning, that these guys were housemates. I mean, and now mm. this kind of language, you know, Mr McCluskey in the past has accused Tom Watson of behaving like a low-budget remake of The Godfather, which was spotted uh, in the archives. So that, that sense of the battle uh, between them. What's well, interesting is elsewhere, picking up on Paul's point, elsewhere in this podcast that Nick Robinson's done, Tom Watson is, is full of praise for the, uh, the Corbyn prospectus and the, uh, and the manifesto of last year and acknowledges that he's been on something of a journey in terms of recognising its support, particularly outside of particularly outside of London. But the other striking thing, and this is to just mildly refers towards the, the by-election and divisions within Labour, you look at Janet Davey, mm. who, yes, is arguably more pro-European than the Labour leadership, and yet says that she voted for Jeremy Corbyn in both the leadership mm. races. So even though some described mm. her as a, a relatively centrist candidate amongst the potential Labour runners in that seat, uh, that's within the mould of the new but Labour Party. I find it fascinating. Right? You said probably, you said arguably more, you know, more uh, sort of Europhile, you know, I mean, this is interesting. We're, not, we're still not quite sure. We know we've got a largely Remain Labour backbench uh, and, and, and voters. And, and, voters and, and, and voters. Well, no, actually, well, in the South, not in the North, mm, not in Northern mm. working class constituencies. Uh, and, and you, but you've got a Eurosceptic le leadership. It's not, it's not a question of probably. Undoubtedly, Janet Davey is way further uh, anti-Brexit right. than... Uh, than Jeremy Corbyn.